Now let me do a harder type of problem where you have to complete the square. Uh, these get a little involved. They're not too bad though. You just have to keep everything straight. So I suppose we have to figure out this integral. Our first step will be to complete the square in the bottom. So I do that, divide this by 2 and square that and add that in there. And take it away. So this part is now t minus 3 squared. And I have 13 minus 9. And completing the square is nice because now I have something involving just the variable squared plus something else. This could have been negative or positive. Um, so you could get different types of trig substitutions in this problem. But since we have something squared plus something squared, it'll be a tangent type of problem. Let me just put this in up here. So the thing we have here doesn't have to be x. It can be something a little more complicated. So I'll substitute t minus 3 is 2 tangent theta. Where theta goes from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. And this is just like the case where you have x squared plus 2 squared. In this case, you would be substituting x equals 2 tangent theta. So now with this substitution, we have dt is 2 secant squared theta d theta. And we'll just put that in here. dt is 2 secant squared theta d theta. The bottom is the square root of 2 tangent theta squared, so 4 tangent squared theta plus 4. This part is 4 times tangent squared theta plus 1. And this is secant squared theta. So what we really have is the square root of 4 times secant squared theta. Cosine is positive in this region, so we can take the square root just fine. So we end up with 2 secant theta. So we just have a secant theta up top. And you may not remember this integral. It's actually natural log of secant theta plus tangent theta plus c. But we're not done yet because we have to uh, make this just involving t in the end. So this part's not hard because um, because if I divide by 2, I get t minus 3 over 2 is tangent theta. So this part's just t minus 3 over 2. Secant theta is a little trickier. To figure that out, I'm going to draw a right triangle with angle theta. And I can pick any size for that makes it that its tangent is actually t minus 3 over 2. So I want opposite over adjacent to be t minus 3 over 2. So I force that to happen. Then the hypotenuse will be the square root of 1 plus t minus 3 over 2 squared. And what that says is that secant theta, well, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So 
secant will be hypotenuse over adjacent. So that's what secant theta is. So the final answer, natural log of this nasty thing plus t minus 3 over 2 absolute value plus c.